Alright guys, welcome to the tutorial of how to set up Worlds Collide Archipelago. Um, if you're new to uh, Archipelago in general, or if you just want to play a different randomizer in general. Uh, it allows for all of them, but Final Fantasy 6 specifically uh, is unsupported, so you have to follow these steps. First, well, I've got to download Archipelago. I already have it over there, but we're going to download Archipelago at this right here. We're going to download the latest 4.3 here. Um, and it has a different options if you're using Linux. Um, you can do that. Um, but generally, if you're running Windows, just do the setup. Um, I'm going to be putting this in this folder. And I have an archipelago folder. Um, now we have to wait for it to download. It will just, will just take a few seconds. My internet speed is really bad. But that's okay. I can't really speed anything up until after the recording. Anyway. So, can't really speed this up. I don't have anything for it. But when you do that, you can load it by a prompt here. Archipelago setup. Yep, go ahead and do that. Um, no one really reads through all this stuff, so just say I agree. I accept the agreement. And then here is where you are going to be setting up. So if you have your ROM set up for Super Metroid, uh, DKC3, etc., all these different ones, you want to click the ones that you are going to be using. Now, I have a lot of things set up because I have every single ROM thing that I can do. Um, so that's there, and then the server. The first thing you want to do if you're doing a Super Nintendo game, you want to cl SNI client. Now, if you want Link to the Past, patch set up, you know, all these different options, you could put them too. And then, in general, if you're using Kingdom Hearts 2, th these are all what you want to use if you're going to do this. But this is for Final Fantasy 6, so the least amount of things you need to do is just use the SNI client. You don't need anything other than the generator, the SNI client, um, and then the text, if you want that. Apparently it's not needed, but... You press this, press next, press next. It's going to tell you, hey, you know, you can go back if you want to. I'm going to click install. Uh, it will ask you for your, um, oh crap, I need to close this. It will ask you for where your Final Fantasy 6 ROM is. Um, yeah, it's going to yeah, skip, it's not recommended, or whatever. Um, and then it's going to extract. Now, I already have it already here, so I'm going to cancel everything. But once you have it all there, it will ask where your Final Fantasy VI ROM is. Um, which, right here, this is the file that you will need. You will need a 1.0 version of this, and it needs to be called this. Final Fantasy 3 eyes, I, I, I. In parentheses, USA, all caps, no prints, uh, in parentheses, dot SFC, that's what you need. Um, next thing you need is the AP world. If, you know, you're going to be generating this, this is all the generating thing, you know, go, go grab it and whatnot, but if we need it, it's right here. I already have the AP world, so I'm going to click cancel because I already have it. Um, if you're going source, you can do that. But, generally, now here's my, the my, my folder here. So if you are going to be um, starting up Archipelago for um, that, all you need to do, once the world's generated for you by the person, all you have to do is open up, where is it, where is this my client, there we go, all you have to do is open up an SNI client after that, you should have the ROM, 
Uh, I have it on localhost here, as I was doing a, a thing earlier. Uh, basically, put your whatever it is in there, the, the server address, so it's archipelago.gg. Put those there, and then it will be the server address, the code, which nor is like a five, how many five digits? Um, so that's a thing. Uh, and then after that, press connect. Uh, you will need the SNI um, thing. I would drop in everything here in uh, what I've got here in like the links and everything in the video description. So you don't have to go and grab things and worry about it. But um, you need the SNI. Now I have it in this folder. Um, the night. Uh, scroll down. It's right here. I have to do, I have my SNI already opened, but if you didn't, there you go. And then all you really have to do is run the game. Um, that's self-explanatory, but I will go and load up uh, one of my um, S9 emulators. So wait, whoa, that's big. It's not right one there. There we go. You have to file. You need S. You need SNES 9X or uh, e, uh, SNES 9X uh, dash RR for this or BizHawk. Um, this is the you know, this just open up Lewis script, do Lewis script window, browse, and here's the connector.lu. I already have the the path, so I always use it. Here's the connector.lu. You do that, you load that up, and then if you don't have the game up, this is what it will say. But assume you have, let me see if I have a, yeah, let's open that one. And then it will say connected to SNI. Everything will work here. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you set this up. Uh, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial video. Um, that's pretty much how you set this up for um, uh, for people just wanting to start a parts to go. You need the AP world because you can't run the um, Archipelago Final Fantasy VI without the AP world, so you're gonna need that. If you like the video, um, subscribe for more tutorial uh, content and whatnot, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.